Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 202. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, in this trick here, 202, we're going to see how to calculate vacation days. Here's the setup. When you start working, you automatically get 20 days years until you get more days or five so you have to work five years but then you get one extra day for when you get to your fifth year and one extra day for every additional year worked so here's some names here's the higher day let's go ahead and do the today uh, formula because we want to have uh, this uh, spreadsheet update no matter when we open it and tell us how many vacation days so we'll go equal today and the today function is an argumentless function that calc that puts just today's date. Control enter and then double click and send it down. Hey, today's the 9th of January, 2009. Now, years worked. We uh, have a higher date and today. We'll simply do uh, the years function. The years function takes a serial number which underlies any date and will tell you what year it is. So I'm going to take the later year minus the earlier year. So those two dates. And that'll tell you how many years they have worked. Double click and send it down. Sure enough, that works. It worked eight years, six years. So this one should end up 21. Uh, this one should end up uh, 23, et cetera. Or 24 here, the 22 here. All right, so let's do our formula. Equals, well, they all get 20, so we'll start off with 20. So F4. Plus, and now we need to do an if, because if it's less than um, 5, we need to add 0. If it's greater than 5, then we need to take whatever years they are, subtracted this times that. So we'll say if this right here, which is a relative cell reference, is less than 5. I guess I'm being lazy today. Uh, we're only copying this down, so we only need the dollar sign in front of the number. Why am I always so, uh, all the videos, I always do the minimum number dollar signs. The reason why is because if you always do it that way, then when you get into a situation where you have to use mixed cell references, you're all, you already think that way. All right, um, so there we go. We have le this less than 5, comma. Well, what are we going to add? 0. Otherwise, and then we need our little formula. If it's greater than 5, we need a formula. In parentheses, this number of years relative minus this 5, which will be locked going down, so dollar sign in front of the row reference. So that, right now we know this will give us um, 7. Man, I'm slow today. Times whatever this is. And we need that also locked. So I'm going to hit F4 twice. And then close parentheses. And that's the formula that will work all the way down. Control Enter and double click and send it down. Oh, look, it's only 21. So uh, we actually need to amend this. Because as soon as they hit 5, they get one extra date. And as soon as they hit 6, they get an extra one. So we're going to actually have to do plus 1. And you can actually uh, put that anywhere. If the criteria was different, we would use this formula, but it's not. When you hit 5, you get 1. Uh, so when, so we're going to add 1. It could be from the beginning to the end, plus 1, control enter. And sure enough, there we have our formula. The nice thing about this is if we change this to uh, 2, like we're going to start giving out more vacation days if you work two years, we change it there, and it updates here. And if we're going to give out 2 per year, we change that, and it would update. All right, we'll see you next trick.